show you how you can run NA10 locally on your own machine. Also, you can execute the same steps on your virtual private server, or VPS, or even on your own build home lab server. You just follow the step-by-step -step guide. What are you going to need in order to run it? You need Docker. You need to install the Docker, run few terminal prompts that I will share you later in this video. So let's start with Docker. How to install it? Go to docker.com and click download. Do all the steps, just install it. I have successfully installed Docker desktop. Now you need to log in. I will use the Google and I have successfully logged in. I just click open the Docker and I am inside my Docker. This is how it's going to look like freshly installed. There is no containers in here. What is the next steps after installing Docker? So I have prepared small step-by-step -step guide in a Google Docs. You can find this link somewhere down below this video and open it and execute same steps. Next thing what you need to do is open the terminal. Let's open the terminal on my Mac. Next thing what you need to do is to just follow this step-by-step. -step. Let's install volumes and build on same network both containers. Just copy and paste here and you will see in just a few seconds we have done it. Next thing we need to create a container for Postgres. Just click here, copy, paste. You can adjust here for your needs, the Postgres name, user and password. You can change these variables as you wish. And if you have already some containers installed, you also can change the ports by adding, like changing as you wish. So we can see that Postgres database has been created successfully. Next thing is we need to create a NA10 container. And here also you need to make sure that uh, Postgres database name, host, uh, user, password, and port is matching with ones what you have created earlier. We just copy paste it. Also, you can change the time zone here. This is important because whenever you're going to run workflows on schedule based, the NA10 needs to know from which time zone you need to execute them. You can change later them also, but I suggest create them in beginning and use the by the T, TSA time format. Now you can find on Wikipedia what is TSA and for example if you live in US just like right here in right format. And here on and here on the Wikipedia you can find the TZ database time zones or time zones. So here you can find the correct time zones for your own location. Just go here, Google it, find the location you are in and use these ones from TZ identifier. I'm going to use Europe Berlin and next we need to inspect and check if everything has been created successfully. Yes, we have created the network and the containers are running. And how you can see yourself if it's running, you just open the Docker and you see yourself that these two are green. Here you can turn them off if you want. NA10 will stop the work. And if I want to start them again, you just start and it spin up super quickly. And here you can see the ports. By clicking here, you will open the N8N. First thing what we need to do, you need to enter your email, first name, last name, and password. After creating profile, answer a few questions what N8N wants to ask. And here you are. Here you have successfully installed N8N. Any questions, let me know down below in the comments. And by the way, if you want to learn more in depth about NA10 and how to make workflows, sell them and monetize them, right now you can join the community only for $49. The price will be increased by end of the year. And here we are already 124 members. Here you can see what you're going to get access to. We have multiple courses inside the community. We're going to learn about how to use NA10, how to self-host, how to sell automations and many more things. I hope this video was helpful for you. Leave some comments down below what you want to see next.